welcome to a new session with a new chapter which is human health and disease in this topic we are going to discuss all the diseases that comes to humans out of which few are discussed here lot many diseases are there where it infects the humans and those diseases may come from bacteria fungus protozoans helminthic worms even through various different types of vectors that causes disease in the humans what are the various diseases how we can overcome all these diseases as we are presently facing the pandemic disease including covid okay now in the health health and disease let us look back to the earlier parts where in the ancient times by the hippocrates there was a thing where they used to call it as a black bile a person with hot personality or fever they used to call it as a black bile where the person usually will be suffering with some sort of diseases but later on there were different hypotheses which were given like good humor hypothesis bad humor hypothesis humor meaning the body fluids good humor me meaning healthy personality bad humor meaning ill health personality so that's why these were the discussions which was there in the earlier times but after the discovery of the blood circulatory system in the humans by william harvey all these hypotheses were discarded disproved and later on health part along with various different types of diseases that comes to the humans have been proved and there are various different types of diseases that you are going to study now initially let's quote the points of how health is affected health is affected by various factors later on we'll go with the definition of the health and definition of the diseases okay now how exactly the human health is affected now if we come across the characters now health is affected mainly by various causes like uh, genetic causes we also call this as a uh, genetic reasons also so health is uh, mainly affected by genetic disorders along with that infections various different types of infections including the lifestyle food and water okay now these are the things by which the health is affected the first reason is genetic disorders genetic disorders are nothing but they might be different syndromes which are the defects that are present in the children's by birth where we also call them as a congenital defects so genetic disorders may be congenital meaning defective by birth either there might be various different types of syndromes like turner syndrome clean felter syndrome down syndrome kraiduchat syndrome various different types are there they are the genetic disorders okay which includes sickle cell anemia also phenylketonuria right and other various different types of the disease now if this disease congenital disease affects the children then almost uh, they cannot be cured so health, health can be affected through the genetic disorders also which where mainly it is inborn disorder infections infections are those which can be transmitted from one person to 
another person either directly or indirectly. Directly through the sneeze, cough, where we also call it as droplet infections. Indirectly, it might be through various agents. Okay, like the doors, pens. Okay, in the public places. Okay, that that is due to the infections. Then lifestyles. The disease might be due to your lifestyle. So lifestyle that includes food and water. That means what type of food you are consuming, whether you are consuming the healthy food or unhygienic food or junk foods. Okay. Then water that you take in, whether you are taking pure water or contaminated water, whether you are cautious ab about your health or no. Okay. So everything it depends on the lifestyle. Then in the lifestyle, not only food and water. are included but along with that even our regular habits our dieting processes then along with that exercise also this matters a lot okay to maintain the good health okay so almost all these are the aspects where the health is affected so mainly health is affected by genetic disorders infections and lifestyles okay now let's go to the definition of the health then after the definition of the health we will come across how the health can be maintained then along with that let's go to the diseases part okay now let's look at the definition of the health here now here health we can define it as the state of complete physical it is the state of complete physical mental and social well being of a person is said to be health okay so health can be defined in this form so how can we define it so health it is a state of complete physical mental and social well being what is it denotes what does it states what does it means complete physical that means uh, whether you are physically all right without any disorders okay that is physical then how the physical health can be maintained physical health does not mean that you should be a body builder okay physical health means uh, whenever we look at a person he should look healthy okay he should not be too fat or too lean so we should feel that he is healthy right we should not feel that he is more anemic he should look healthy this is physical health right then mental health mental means how he thinks how he responds to the other persons so that is mental thinking that means if the person is responding properly if the person is thinking properly if he is answering properly then what we say is he is mentally all right suppose if a person is mentally disturbed so almost you you might have saw such type of people in the society if they are mentally disturbed then they either they may over react or their response might be crude okay so that's why mental health uh, healthiness is also most important right then how the mental healthiness can be maintained so almost most of them will be facing all these problems in your day to day life some might be having certain physical problems some might be having certain mental stresses mental problems okay with this uh, lot many things lot many classes you may face this problem but if you know how to handle all the situations properly so you can keep your mind very cool and calm so that you should know that means 
our mind is under our control suppose if you can maintain it if you can regulate it properly if you can control your mind in such a way that you can overcome all the stresses okay then nothing will happen you can balance your life and uh, almost as we are living in the society mental health is a uh, most important because we don't know we can we will face a lot of situations unexpected situations in our life then how do we overcome all those problems it matters a lot everything is by your mind so keep your mind very strong and healthy okay then social well being social refers to we all live in the society how do we respond to the society that means uh, whether we are afraid of the society or whether we respond correctly to the society whether we mingle with the people of the society because in the society we see different sorts different types of people their thinkings will be different their calculations will be different with those peoples whether you are able to mix or talk or whether you are happy or uh, you are leading your healthy lifestyle with the society so that matters a lot because as we see lot many different kinds of brains kinds of people around us so how do we interact with them how do we react with them matters a lot this is what is said to be the social well being that means as we say man is a social animal we are not alone we are not in the forest we are in our areas we are in our residential areas so we have to be with the society only we are living with the society only then how do we interact with the society so that will also count for your health okay so we should not run uh, away from the society okay you should know how to face everything in the society being in the society so all these together constitutes the health okay then apart from this how to maintain good health how to maintain good health good health can be maintained so let us go on based on the priority mainly it depends on the food the food, type of food that you are consuming because your age is growing age you have to intake proper food and remember three things morning tiffin afternoon lunch and night dinner you should never skip this right if you are on a fasting for a single day doesn't matter that will not affect the health but suppose if you are skipping your regular tiffin every day you are going to suffer with some sort of disorders mainly acidity certain stomach ulcers remember this okay if you are not doing your regular habits food habits properly then you will suffer with the ill health why because though we are not working physically but you are working mentally your brain is always thinking you are writing you are reading something so brain cells are consuming what glucose sugars you require sugars from where do we get this glucose from where do we get the energy it is through the food only where the food has to be digested absorbed it should enter into the cells there in the cells this glucose is broken down to reproduce energy in the form of atp and where the atp is produced it is produced in the mitochondria because of that we say mitochondria are the power house of the cell right so food is one of the most important basic necessity requirement along with the water good quality water hygienic food hygienic water okay this is most important this is the first priority after food proper food proper water then what do you need proper exercise exercise doesn't mean that it should be a vigorous exercise it should be hard exercise it's not like that it doesn't mean that you should go to a gym workouts all those things it does not mean that even if you do regular walk that's enough it's a good exercise walking is the best exercise okay then apart from that our indian traditional yoga uh, it has been practiced since from the time immemorial yoga is one of the best exercise that that can be done by us to maintain our 
physical health along with that remember with the yoga even our brain mind concentration also increases through the meditation your concentration increases okay you can concentrate on a particular part you can concentrate on a particular subject thoroughly neatly okay in a deeper manner okay now almost during the counseling when we come across various different types of students almost we hear a common general problem that sir i cannot concentrate properly whenever i'll be reading one subject only the book will be open my mind will be thinking something else okay ee rithi bhala jana helta irthire the reason behind this is book open martire nim brain olagade eno vichara bere irthada you will be thinking thinking something else which is not relevant related to you also and even if it is related to you also it will not be any useful for you but based on those unnecessary things if you go on thinking it's of no use it's simply just a waste of time which will neither help for your future which will neither help for your studies understood so that's why what has to be done whenever you read a subject only the thing is your attention your concentration should be 100% in that subject and remember don't read the textbooks don't see the videos with your open eyes hangadra kan mochko nodudenre alla the thing is see it read it observe it with your open brain which is most important open eyes are not counted open brains are counted open brain antandre enilli neevu en kelsa madatiri anta anuvantada whether nimage alli iruvantada ekagrathe aithu illo anta anuvantada idakke nam concentration anta karithivi which you can increase by the meditation adakke meditation anta anuvantada yak maartidra antandra reason bahala janaga almost uh, most of uh, the students that we come across uh, in our day to day life they will be facing these problems so because of that i am telling you okay we we have got a chance due to this chapter okay where we are going to study regarding our health aspects so that's why you should know all these things also right along with the studies we should know all these things because if you don't know all these things how you can study how you can concentrate how you can upgrade yourself how you can lift by yourselves okay how you, you can target your aims goals all these things right so everything is by the brain only that's why though you all have the same brain intelligent brain but it depends on how you make use of it okay so polish your brain in such a way that you should never forget the things so how you will never forget the things it is depending upon your concentration okay so based on that i'll tell you a just one minute story for you so listen it properly and carefully okay it's a real story right which has happened with me myself and my one of my friend we were studying in uh, pg msc during that time we used to attend the seminars okay seminars now yak nodtivi antadra seminars inda now hosad hosad kalitivi yakandre resource persons irtara research oriented irtara phd avr irtara avr ideas share martirtara and their ideas will be very proper very correct the thing is whenever they will give the seminars now we used to see them pro- proper properly listen carefully to uh, towards their words and later on we would uh, come back to our rooms and discuss based on the matter ee rithi maartta idivi one of my friend now usually now seminar nodadaga namage adartha summary gotirudada saramsha gotirudada en matter ittu anta nodadu gotagutada one of my friend his observation was very keen in such a way that which i got stunned by his words when he used to come to the room when he used to tell the things seminar avaru heng seminar maadidru anta anuvantada he used to tell the same exact sentences what he spoke and during those seminars what i observed in him was whenever the seminar is on on a laksha his eyes and ear along with the brain all the three contacts are most important they were to the person what he is talking on a pratyond words mel ist gamna kodta idda bazuk nav yen maatada katana nu anta laksha irthirikilla avanga what that person is telling look at his concentration adu nimage irthada but adu new alteration maadkondirthire because of the pickle minded jumble minded you lose all these things okay do not lose all the things 
ಇದು ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಈ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಅದ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಸಾ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅದು ಪಾಲಿಶ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಹೇಳೋರು ಯಾರೂ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮಷ್ಟ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋತ್ನಾಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕೆಲಸದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಈ ಕೆಲಸ ನೀವು ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ then ultimately you can lift your brain in such a way that you will never forget the things here it depends on the matter of understanding okay not blank reading it is a it depends on the way that you understand that you digest the things that you read okay so implement this in your life uh, which gives you a lot of happiness also and uh, you will wait for the fruitful results also okay in your future okay definitely 100% i'm sure okay now this is how to maintain the good health okay so physical health understood so physical health good hygienic food hygienic water then exercise yoga meditation whichever you want to do right if you are uh, if you are a good player okay continue the playing by that you will get your physical good health okay that means all these are various different types where you can maintain your good health okay don't be very ideal okay don't be very ideal so be busy with your activities either it might be a sports activity games activity in your homes you, you even if you are playing the chess you are giving work to your brain even if you are playing carrom you are giving work to your hands you are giving work to your brain also you are thinking something there understood so your brain is working that's why what i say is none of you have a weak brain each and every ba- brains are very peculiar superior intelligent enough make the best use of your brain don't keep it more empty because you have lot of space in the brain where you can store any kind of information and remember brain never gets saturated till our death brain never gets saturated till our death ast capacity ada ast information kodre ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಅದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಚೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೋ ಟು ದ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ನಾವು ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ personal hygiene it refers to brushing our teeth regularly on a proper time tiffin madukondu uta maadi ha sayankala ratre uta maada sayankala alla ratre uta madu time ne uta madukondu amale stana madodalla understood now what i say is brush your teeth regularly early morning like balashtu jana ya en antandra when they wake up they will wake up with the online classes only okay that is the thing which is happening now id yak antandra time limitations you are not setting a proper time for it pratyondu ko new yav pratyondu ko time madkodri time sigtada illandre yaduku time sigangilla ade sud belage bala jana ki id complaints helthirtare adakage complaints won't improve your results only the thing is improve your brain in such a way that you will never get the complaints complaint bar bar dang now nam lifestyle hang change madkotivi ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಇರ್ತದ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಏಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ಯು ನೋ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಸ್ ಕುದುರೆ ಮಲ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ನಿಂತು ನಿದ್ದೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ತತಿ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಚಿಟಿಕೆ ಹೊಡೀರಿ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಲುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕೀಪ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ to build up your career also okay now personal hygiene first brush your teeth regularly in the early morning itself hopefully
understood. So, all these things are most important and whichever the food you consume, you consume it in a hygienic manner. So, almost most of you are cautious about your health also uh, due to this covid things. So, that is why, so maintain this ok. So, that is a, the good lifestyle which you will be having ok. Then let us move on to the next part, the next part is the disease, next term is the disease. Now, the term says, the term says first term half part is dis, second one is ease, dis and ease, ease is comfort, dis, discomfort, what is this discomfortness? Disease is nothing but unhealthy condition of the body. Now, generally whenever you meet your friends after a long time, you will ask a question, how are you? Yaru, who are you on Kerangilila? You will ask the question, how are you? They will reply, I am fine. Now, suppose if a person is suffering with uh, different types of disease, kidney stones, how are you on the Keriraga? A pain it won't do, I am very fine and theatane. No, he cannot say all these things. Okay, illa panangaramila and theatano, no, I am not well, I am not feeling good, I am not feeling well and another reply na bartha yar tada ok namag bhalashtu jor jora bandha aga na vandh hea tayar tivi i am not well i am not feeling good understood so that means i am diseased ok naan alla presently that is our talk conversation this is what is said to be disease now disease is caused due to infection to a organ or damage to a organ we call it as a disease so disease is nothing but unhealthy condition of the body So, unhealthy condition of the body is said to be disease ok. Then let us go to the types of disease, in the types of disease first we have infectious disease and second we have non-infectious disease. Ok, so these are the two different types, types of diseases. Now, what are infectious diseases? Infectious diseases are those which are easily spread from one person to another person. So, these are easily spread from one person to other. This is said to be infectious disease. For example, common cold is infectious. Let us take example here. Example is a common cold. Okay. Typhoid is in infectious disease, malaria, all these are infectious diseases. Out of these, one infectious disease which is a more deadly is AIDS. AIDS is deadly, as you know. Okay, there is no completely treatment for the AIDS. Then what are non-infectious? Non-infectious diseases are those, these are not spread. From one person to another. The disease which cannot be spread from one person to another person are said to be non-infectious disease. Now, let us take an example, an example of non-infectious disease is cancer. Cancer cannot be spread from one person to another person, but cancer is very dangerous which may cause death ok under certain conditions. So, that is why these are the two different types of disease, one is infectious, other one is a non-infectious. Infectious disease, they are also called as a communicable diseases where it spreads from one person to another person. Non-infectious, they are also said to be non-communicable diseases which are not spread from one person to another person. Okay. The person himself or herself will get the disease and later on it might be dangerous and deadly also. Okay. Out of these two, 
एड्स एंड कैंसर दे आर मोस्ट डेंजरस डिजीज विच मे कॉज फर्टिलिटी इन द ह्यूमस सो दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द outline introductory part of the disease with this in the next session we are going to start with your various different types of infectious diseases so till that stay tuned thank you